Hi friends, so today we will learn the first thing about this Power BI is how to create a column chart in it. Okay, so basically for creating a column chart, we required a data set. Okay, and we know how to add the data in this Power BI software. Okay, so basically for getting a data in this Power BI tool, we have an option get data. Okay, so if you click on get data, so there are 99 plus sources from where you uh, we can extract the data in this Power BI tool. Okay, so basically today we will use Excel workbook for getting a data. Okay, so we have to click on this Excel workbook. Okay, now we have to give the Okay, so here you can select all files. So basically we have one supermarket grocery sales data. Okay, so we can click on open now see data is getting extracted so basically this is a cleaned data so there is no point of cleaning it it is already cleaned okay so now here there are like two buttons load and transform data so load means the data whatever the form of the data is it will be directly get loaded okay and in transform data you can make changes uh, if the data is not cleaned okay so today we will use this load button here okay click on this load button See, data is getting loaded Okay, see data is loaded now. So whatever the Excel workbook it was, okay, so basically it has one subsheet. The name of the subsheet is this one, supermarket grocery sales retail analysis. Okay, so in this particular subsheet, there are multiple columns, columns of category, city, customer name, discount, order date, order ID, profit, region, sales, state and subcategory okay so today we are learning how to create a column chart in power bi okay so basically see in the right hand side we have an option visual visualizations okay so these are the multiple charts which we can create in this power bi okay so basically this second one this is a column chart okay so if you click on this column chart okay okay so this is our column chart so basically now we have to define what is x-axis and what is y-axis in it okay so basically see in this visualization option we have an option of x-axis here okay so what we can do on x-axis we can add subcategory okay now subcategory is added in x-axis okay but in y-axis what we can do we can add profit to see what is the profit of each and every subcategory okay so this is the chart we got okay so this is called as column chart okay. now basically we can make many changes in the chart for example we have to change the format of this chart okay so here uh, the first option is build visual okay the second option is format your visual okay so this chart is called as visual okay now we will format it so click on this format visual so basically uh, first one we will format the x-axis okay so whatever the data is written here on x-axis we can make it bold okay we can change the fonts uh, font and font size so let's say we will select this one and uh, the font size let's say 12 okay after that uh, let's make changes to y-axis same changes okay so basically uh, values see we can make it bold we can change the formats uh, font size okay now this is the column chart okay so basically uh, let's say we want to create a stacked column chart so we can add one more thing here we can add region okay now basically see this is called as a stacked column chart okay why it is called a stack column chart see each and every bar is divided into multiple stack based on the region okay and region labels are here so basically blue color shows central region dark blue 
east region this orange one north purple south and this pink color shows west one okay so this is called as a stack column chart so let's say we don't want stack column chart we want only column chart okay now see each and every bar has a similar color which is dark blue okay now let's say we want to change the color based on its value okay based on its value so what we will do we can add we can go to this column option in format visual option click on column option and click on this function symbol okay so it will ask which color you want to give for the lowest value okay let's say for the lowest value we want to give uh, this color okay and for the highest value we want to give uh, let's say dark red okay so based on the value it will be uh, each and every column will get a definite color click on okay now see this is the highest value it has dark red color this is the lowest value it has light red color okay now one more thing let's say you want to change the values on y-axis okay so what you can do you can use this zoom slider you can enable this zoom slider option click and on okay so see you can drag this okay the values will automatically get changed on y-axis okay let's say you want to change the lowest value okay so like this you can get the data okay so you can use the zoom slider okay to change the units on y-axis okay the data on y-axis for changing the data on y-axis okay so this is the stacked column chart or column chart in power bi okay thank you so tomorrow we will learn a next visual which is a stacked bar chart okay stacked bar chart or bar chart thank you for joining